and, and then you're wrong and you show part of the solar farm complex that's 129 miles long and go, look, over here, solar panels, 100 miles from Bundy. Man, that's a really bad game to play. So, so, you know, it's just like, oh, the government's not buying bullets. They're not buying armored vehicles. But you see the armored vehicles, the black uniforms, the helicopters, and they go, Alex is wrong. Only 150 million bullets were bought. AP. Yeah, in one purchase, you add them up. It was 2.6 billion last time I counted them up. They play these games with you. And I understand that Glenn Beck says he's been threatened and he's scared. and He's got all these former FBI guys that protect him and all the rest of it. Whatever, okay? He goes out on the street and has like 30 bodyguards with him. Literally. I go out on the street, nobody's with me. Because I'm not living in fear. They're going to set me up. They're going to kill me. It's in God's hands. So there's the difference. I don't even think Glenn Beck's a bad guy. I think he's scared to death watching him. Now, why am I getting into Glenn Beck right now? Well, I mean, I have to at this point. I mean, because this, this endangers me and my family to be framed like this. We're going to play the clips coming up. I started getting calls last week about this, and I just ignored it, didn't even look it up. And then Watson called me last night. It was like 1 o'clock in the morning his time, and he says, you got to watch this stuff. And I said, listen, I'm going exercising, and I'm going canoeing this afternoon. And I'm just not going to go watch it. And this morning he called me and he said, look at it. At like 7 a.m. So I went and looked at it. And he goes, you got to respond. And I mean, there's, just, there's hours of it off and on. I, I can't watch it all. I don't have time for this. But it's basically, there's a group wants to have violence and war with the federal government and kill everybody. And that's Alex Jones. And you don't want to be with his group. And, and you, you want to be with the group you know, not with the group with this with the government, but the group in the middle, that's me. And he goes on to, to say that's where God's at and, and that's where Martin Luther King's at and that the Constitution's not God. God is in the middle pointing at himself with neuro-linguistic programming. He's saying, I'm God. I mean, it's literal Jim Jones type stuff. When you know psych warfare techniques. My psych warfare, te uh, psych warfare technique is just to be straight up and, and no holds barred, tell the truth. That's the original psych warfare technique is just tell the truth. Uh, but I'm watching, and he's like, you don't want to be on the Alex Jones side that wants violence and killing. You want to be on the government side, as he's pointing to the other side. You want to be on the side with God, and he's pointing at himself. And everyone's sitting around him like he's a cult leader in this video. I mean, it's just freaky, man. Freaky, freaky. That's what I've been told by folks that really know Glenn Beck. They go, listen, Glenn Beck's not a government agent. This guy is, thinks he's God. I've been told that by four different people that know Glenn Beck well. They go, listen, you give him the wrong pin when he's at work. When he asks for a pin, you're fired on the spot. And they all sit there looking at him worshipfully. And he's wearing this weird, bright, striped, Judge Smales type yuppie outfit. And his hair is all fake blonde now. And he's all, I mean, it's freaking weird, man. I mean, I, 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 it's literally like those Eastern yogi cult guys you see on the, Cable channels for the Californian people. I mean, it, it is just freaky. And he's saying, I want violence. When anyone that listens to this show knows it's the opposite, I, I am working around the clock to stop a civil war. And have said, I don't want any offensive actions. And I've been criticized by some of the militia groups for not being, quote, hardcore enough. And that's on record. So, I mean, come on, Glenn. You're really getting into bad territory here. And if anything happens to me... Or something, you're going to be very liable. And I don't want to come after you financially and all that. I know it's a buck barrel of snakes. I don't, I don't have anything against you, Glenn. Glenn Beck, the prophet, God is giving me a plan. See, there's the headline. I mean, it's just insane. And, and, and again, God can give us all the plan, the Constitution, Bill of Rights. We can be inspired by God. But no, it's all him, him, he, he. And then he lies. That's not a godly spirit about everybody that he's in competition with. Glenn, I'm not in competition with you. I've been more worldly in the past. God put it on my heart. I just felt moved to try to forgive everybody that's attacked me, and I forgive you. Okay, but I have to do this now. I'm going to have to get all the clips of you saying that Ron Paul, the money bomb, blow stuff up and use the army against Ron Paul supporters, and I, that's it. I'm going to put out the Glenn Beck deception. I, I got to put out the Obama deception, too, and I've just got so much to do. I, I just... I just it's just Glenn Beck, though, I have to show he's lying about me. He's telling his audience on talk radio stations across the country, many of which carry my show so they know he's lying, that I want...
people to have a civil war. That is the last thing I want. And, and he knows full well he's a liar. And they obviously got marching orders from somebody. Do you want to feel awesome all day long? Do you want to sleep so good you wake up feeling awesome the way you did when you were a kid? Feel awesome with no caffeine, just awesome tasting nutrition. Try Passion for Life and rediscover your awesomeness. Call today, 844-TRY-LIFE. Call 844-879-5433 or visit 844-TRY-LIFE.COM. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. The Victory Seed Company is a family-owned, farm-based organization working to keep rare, open-pollinated heirloom seeds available for your home garden with no unstable hybrids or GMO seeds sold. Learn about their mission at VictorySeeds.com. And for a limited time, enter Victory at checkout to receive a free garden planning tool on orders over $10. Grow your Victory Garden with Victory Brand Seeds. VictorySeeds.com. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Listeners of GCN know governments and identity thieves around the world are illegally spying on our digital data. This puts you at risk of financial loss or potential targeting because of your political affiliation or spiritual beliefs. But now there's a new, free, and easy way to protect yourself. Regain your privacy and security now with Unseen. Unseen is a free digital communication service that offers email, chat, audio, and video calling, plus cloud storage. All secured with unparalleled encryption and is hosted in Iceland, where your data is protected by some of the strongest privacy laws in the world. For a limited time, GCN listeners get a 20% discount when upgrading to Unseen's premium service, which offers more storage and even greater security. Plus, get huge discounts when you buy multiple premium accounts. Perfect for your family, Bible study, political action group, or business. This isn't just your average radio ad. This is a call to action. You now have the power at your fingertips to stop Big Brother in his tracks. So why wait? Go to UnseenNow.com and take action today. That's UnseenNow.com. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind Alex Jones here back live The main point that has to be made here up front is This is bigger than Alex Jones It's bigger than Clive Bundy It's bigger than any of us individually. The demonization of citizens armed in public is the way they're going to ban weapons in this country. And the fact that people showed up with guns after the feds created free speech zones, attacked men and women, 
tasered people for no reason, threatened people, shot a young man on a bicycle who, quote, didn't stop quick enough on his 10 speed nearby a few weeks ago. The public is sick of having feds out of their jurisdiction occupying the society. And there is now an attack by the neocon branch of things against the Constitution, against Paul Revere, against George Washington, against Americana, against the idea of the people being a check and balance against a tyrannical takeover. It's, it's, it's that simple. But it's peace through superior firepower, to quote a army adage. Peace through superior firepower. In fact, guys, we pull up the exact quote. I believe that's the army slogan. That's also known as the U.S. Uh, motto. Uh, peace through superior firepower. That's the whole idea. Is that, oh, you want to rough people up and beat them up if they have a sign on the side of the street? That's Tiananmen Square. That's on American. We're going to show up with our guns. And if you want to shoot us, you'll be the person that shoots first shot heard around the world. Now, I don't even particularly want that to happen. In fact, I don't want a civil war to kick off in this country. But the globalists are going to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing until they have the confrontation on their time at their place so that they can start the Homeland Security War on domestic groups, which they admit is their new main focus. And so a lot of people are going to get politically intimidated by that. They're going to roll over and say, okay, we'll do whatever you want. Federal court rules that Catholic churches got to pay for abortions, do it. Uh, they pass laws saying vaccinations are mandatory, got to do it. They pass laws banning homeschooling in Ohio, got to do it. They want to have national conscription, got to do it. Got to have a national police force, got to do it. I mean, this is all happening. There's no doubt. And so we say, hey, you know, go out there, show support. We didn't even say go out there armed. And we got criticized for not pushing the whole armed angle. It doesn't matter. Just say that Alex Jones you know, is the side that wants violence. And, he, and Glenn Beck on his TV show and radio show goes on for hours now saying there's the groups that want violence, there's the groups that want to kill, there's the groups that want to shoot the feds. And then he'll say, that's the Alex Jones group. You don't want to be part of it or the federal group. You want to be with God in the middle, which is lukewarm so God spits you out of his mouth. And it's not violent to say we have guns if things get really bad, we'll defend ourselves. It's not violent to say if they're taking people to re-education centers, the Democrats are calling for openly, that, that, that people wouldn't have a right to defend themselves. I mean, that's what we've gotten to in this country, that Mark Dyson go out in the street and talk to 10 people in L.A., and nine of them say, put all gun owners in forced labor camps. I mean, this is how crazy this has gotten. They're calling for arresting people that don't believe in man-made global warming. And then the response is to say that I'm calling for violence when everyone knows we're the opposite of that. And we've explained that the system wants the feds to get in a posture that's so aggressive that it then elicits some type of response and the civil war kicks off. I'm trying to stop that civil war from kicking off, but the feds have to back off to do that and not let the globalist above them orchestrate us into this fight. Just like the James Bond clip we play all the time of the Siamese fighting fish. I want to get that queued up. So when we come back, I'm going to play these clips in order. I'm going to play Glenn Beck from his TV show saying by name, you know, Alex Jones, and then today more of it. And then they got Breitbart, who has a lot of great articles and a lot of really truthful stuff. So I'm not saying the whole organization is bad, but they have an FBI informant, Brandon Darby, saying we're making it up that uh, there was ever a plan for the Chinese and Rory Reed and, and, and all the rest of them. And they just show you a giant map of the state, and, and, and it's a 129, 130-mile-long deal, and just show you another end of it. And say, see, this is the other side of the state, playing on ignorance. We have the BLM documents from the BLM website. Then they took them down. Then they got them taken off Google Cash. We have all the proof of that. And the documents got saved on Scrib.org and all the other sites. I, I mean, it's a fact, folks. It's a fact that the Chinese are involved with the BLM all over the country buying up land. We've had Jerome Corsi roll that daily on. This is all over AP Reuters. I mean, this is a fact going on. And then they just say, oh, no, it's a conspiracy theory so that we can't ever come together. Because if it comes out, the Chinese government, the communist, Harry Reid are involved, politically, they're going to lose everything. So they have to say, oh, it isn't real. And who's defending them? Glenn Beck, Breitbart, Media Matters, MSNBC, CNN.
I mean, boy, that shows you who the establishment is. <laughs> We're